deter you from the understanding of who you are. Oh Watch this, Mark 4. Mark 4, told this. Mark 4, told this. About us. We God's chosen people. Jesus Christ is not a white man. He's a black man according to the Bible. When this stuff starts coming out, who come immediately? Satan! Come in immediately! And take it away, the word that was sown in their hearts. So you see that? God said Satan comes immediately to take the words out of your hearts. That's right. So you won't be able to understand who you are. So you won't be able to understand and repent as a nation of peoples. Did you, did you hear what he did? He destroyed. Yeah, what did he say? What? So look, this is the testimony that we out here to teach about. Read. And my testimony, and who just Christ's testimony, we that I shall teach them. What, who, who, who testimony was supposed to be teaching the people? Sit upon thy throne forevermore. So now we understand the testimony we're supposed to be listening to. Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. That first Corinthians 11, which is going to go to. This is one of the other laws. Whenever the Bible coming out, you ever heard, I don't know how to say it. You ever heard, uh, let me say, when you go into church or something, take your hat off to show respect. When it comes to God and Christ, whenever the Bible is coming out and we talking about the Bible, watch how he feels. Read it. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Leader is who? It's Christ, right? It's an order and structure to everything. It's not chaotic how it is today. It's an order and structure to everything. So he said, our head as the black man is Christ. Black man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of these women out here is us. That's why they walking around crazy, because we act crazy. When we get in order, we're going to get them in order. Because they're going to have to by force. They're going to have to. Because guess who they gonna go, who, who they going to deal with then? Who they going to deal with? What they going to do? Who going to provide for them? Every business and everything that's made and created is by men. So they fall in order when we get right with who? With Christ. Right. We've been wrong with Christ. We've been off with Christ for so long. That's why our nation is off. That's why you got little teenager kids running around stealing cars and driving around and crashing and listening to low-end music and think that's the way of life. This is foolishness. Who gonna teach them that this is wrong? Y'all. Us. The men. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So even Christ has a head, which is God. See, in Christianity, that's why we got to come out of Christianity. Christianity teaches us a lot of foolishness. You know like they say that Christ, God, Holy Spirit, is one person. It just said that Christ had a head. Right. So that's two entities right there. You got Christ, you got the Most High God. He, took, he takes orders from the Most High God. And then he gives them to who? Us. And then who do we give it to? Our, our wives. And then they give it to who? The children. That's called order. But watch this, read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, this uttereth his head. You see that? Every man praying or prophesying, meaning when the Bible comes out and the scriptures coming out, and you got your head covered, God said, you dishonor me. So that's why I showed y'all, hey, we got to take the hats off when the, when the Bible comes out. All praises, y'all listen, y'all applaud, all praises. So now I got some questions for y'all. What do we need to do as a people to, to get back to a nation? Because Israel United in Christ, we build an organized nation. That's the goal. What do we as a people have to do to get back to being a nation? Because y'all older men. Y'all old enough to be my father. So, it's a lot of things that need to be talked about between the youth and the older men in the communities to fix it. Because these kids growing up today, they crazy. They crazy. They wild and they monsters. Because guess what? They've been left without fathers. A lot of the men is what? Locked up in jail. Did you know the 5306 uh, zip code has the most incarcerated African American men in the country? In the country! Not, oh, just in the city of Milwaukee. No, in the whole country. The 53206 zip code has the most incarcerated African American men. 
What's going on? How have we fallen from being the fathers to our community? What did we do wrong? What do we have to do? Watch this. It's James. James, what's going on, James? Let me show you something, bro. Did you know, I'm gonna ask you the same thing. Did you know about the 5306 zip code being the most, uh, got the most incarcerated black man in the whole country? No, man, I ain't know that. In Milwaukee, I didn't know that. our zip code, 53206, has the most incarcerated black man in a whole country. Why is that? You're looking at a beer Why is that? Let me show you. Give me Isaiah 4222. I'm going to show you right here. This is Bible. Because us as a nation of people, we lost our identity. We the Israelites. You see yourself on this sign, that's who you are. Your father, whoever your father is, so-called African-American or black or Jamaican, that's his identity according to God. We've been taught our identity according to man. Yes. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Watch this. Read. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. You see what God said about us as a people? He said we are robbed and spoiled. Sisters, 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 don't get distracted. Pay attention. He said we as a people are robbed and spoiled. Read. They are all for them snares in holes. Look at this. Is this not a snare in a hole? Look what happened to us as a nation of people. Weren't we not robbed from Africa and spoiled? All our spoils and all our possessions was taken from us and removed from us? Why? Why is that happening as a people? And you know what this is? This is what happens when the understanding comes out. Then Satan comes out. Watch this. We. And they are live in prison houses. You see that what God said? Don't let this brother deter you from the understanding of who you are. Watch this. Mark 4. Mark 4. Hold this. Mark 4. Watch this. I want y'all to hear this right here. I want y'all to see what Christ said what happened. James. James. Watch this. Verse 14. So stop saying that about me. Mark chapter 4 verse 14. The sower soweth the word. So God said what? The sower is the one that soweth the word. God said Christ tested Testimony is what matters. We're not Spirit. out here for anybody you, personal no, testimony. That does not matter. Christ's Spirit. testimony is Lord, what matters. Lord. But this right here is prophecy. No, what he doing? Ain't Watch no this in the Bible. Watch what it's saying. He Read. He and these are they by the wayside. So that's y'all. Y'all by the wayside. Watch this. Y'all by the wayside. Listen. Up. Sis, look. Where the word is sown. You see the word is being sown? Watch this, sis. Stay right here. Stay right here. He said, y'all by the wayside while the word is being sown. Look at this. Because you're going to miss it. Read. But when they have heard Satan cometh immediately. You see what God said? He said, when you hear in the Bible, and when you start to understand and see, oh, damn, wait a minute. This is all about us. We God's chosen people. Jesus Christ is not a white man. He's a black man according to the Bible. When this stuff start coming out, who come immediately? Satan cometh immediately and taketh the way the word that was sown in their hearts. So you see that? God said Satan cometh immediately to take the words out of your hearts. So you won't be able to understand who you are. So you won't be able to understand and repent as a nation of people. Read on. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground who when they have heard the word immediately received it with gladness. You see that? You received the word. But this brother wants you to lose the word. He wants you to not receive the word. He don't, he don't want you to accept the word. So watch this. Let's go back. Isaiah 45. I'm going to let you come up. 45 and 22. 42, 22. When you look at but a miracle, this is a people robbed and spoiled. You see that? We've been robbed and spoiled. We've been robbed and spoiled so much. My own brother is against me. Our own brother is against us. We don't need your money, brother. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. He said, snared in holes. Read on. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver. He said, we are for a play and none deliver us as a people. That's why you read about the zip code, the area code of 53206 being the most incarcerated black men. Because it's prophesied in the Bible. It's prophesied in the Bible. But when, it's, when the understanding is coming out, Satan come out. That's why people come out. 
They think, oh, we, we're going to be f afraid and move and pack up and go. No, bro, we're going to stay right here. We're going to stay right here, stand 10 toes down and teach the Bible. That's what we're going to do. It does not matter. But this is what happens to our people when they don't understand. Give me Psalms 132, verse 11. 53206, zip code. What, what, what is it? 53206. You said you made a statement. What's, what's the statement? You said about prison. Right. You said, we trapped in prison houses. You, did you hear what he did? We destroyed. You what did you say? Watch this. This is the last scripture. I'm letting this teach come up. Like, Read. Uh, Psalm chapter 132, verse 11. The Lord has sworn on in truth unto David. Uh -huh. He will not turn from it of the fruit of the body will I set upon thy throne. Read on. If thy children will keep my covenant. So look, this is the testimony that we out here to teach about. Read. And my testimony. And who test Christ's testimony. Read. That I shall teach them. What? Who, who, who testimony was supposed to be teaching the people? Christ. This is why we don't want to hear nobody personal testimony. I got a testimony. He got some testimony. He got some testimony. This is the Bible. Read. Their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. So now we understand the testimony we're supposed to be listening to. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.